Hey there, welcome back to High Infidelity, the best channel for cheating stories. Like and subscribe to channel for more spicy stories. Now, let's get into today's story video. Went through wife's phone as I had a suspicion, and I was right. It's my birthday, too, BTW. I never expected to be blogging here, yet here I am. My wife has always pretended to friends and family that we don't check into each other's phones because we trust one other. What a load of nonsense it was. She arrived home last night about 10.00 p.m., drunk as hell, and passed the hell out. I had been suspicious recently since she had been wandering nude from the bedroom to the bathroom and vice versa, a lot more than normal. That isn't remarkable in and of itself, but she was also avoiding me and giving me weird glances while doing so. I knew she wouldn't wake up on her own for hours if she passed out while being pounded. I took advantage of the chance to say forget it and scratch this itch that had been gnawing at me so I swiped her phone from her bag. I opened it and immediately went to Snapchat. Okay, she's been chatting to a man, but there's still no proof. Then I checked her text to see whether she'd been messaging her dad, her stepfather, since she was two years old and all the way through her adolescence. He's been known to demand nudity from her in exchange for money, and she's been known to agree, although this was before I knew her. All texts were erased from 1.24 p.m. that day to 10.00 p.m. that night, at 1.24 p.m., her dad texted her, dang, seems like it's ready for Junior. Then she texted him, yes it is, to which he replied, well, I'm going to have to go rub one out. The remainder of the texts were her drunken pleas for money since she had racked up a $1.300 tab at the unofficial Christmas party. This didn't seem right, so I went to her photographs and found nothing until I went to deleted pictures. At 1.22 p.m., I noticed a photo of her on our sofa flashing her, I was just in the next room. Pretend it's not true, say it didn't happen, just to discover it's worse. Every day for the previous 30 days, I saw many graphic photos of her. The deleted file only holds pictures for 30 days. Keep in mind that I haven't gotten images from her in months, and when I have, they have never been as graphic as these. Then I noticed two naked photos of a man our age who lives in our area, as well as two naked photos of her shot about the same time. I knew his girlfriend, but not him. So I quickly sent his images to her and informed her what had transpired. I snapped photographs of everything, and I mean everything, on my phone and proceeded to face my wife with her phone. She was mumbling and denying everything, but as she was denying, she was simultaneously removing evidence from her phone. I went from our home to my mother's house, which is on the same land. I spent my day playing with our three-year-old daughter, fretting about what was going to happen, until I received a text from my wife at 2 a.m., just after my daughter had gone to sleep, yes, my daughter has a messed up sleeping pattern, and yes, we're working on it. Also, because of work, my wife seldom sees our kid, and even when she does, she doesn't spend much time with her, stating we need to discuss. I went home thinking only about divorce. She begged and pleaded with me, stating she was becoming like her mother, who suffers from bipolar illness and a few other mental diseases. I've observed my wife gradually developing the same issues but not quite as severe. Her mother was likewise a screwed-up parent who really messed my wife up in the brain, though she was skilled at concealing it most of the time. She said that she just wanted the attention and that it was all about the images. She started cursing herself, weeping and begging me not to leave her. I'm not sure whether I can believe what she's saying, but nothing had changed except the strange nakedness, and she had still been treating me with all of the love in the world. But if she loved me, why would she email nudes to other guys, particularly her dreadful dad? She also said that she didn't get paid for any of it and that she was just doing it for attention. I treat her like a queen, so she gets plenty of attention at home, and my drive is way higher than hers too. I have to think about my daughter here because if I divorce my wife, she'll probably get the short end of the stick when it comes to custody here in Texas. They always seem to side with the mother unless they're on drugs, and she'll probably move in with her mother and her husband, which would severely disrupt my child's life. Also, her dad owns her mom's slash home, husband's, and he put it a rule years ago that I'm not permitted over there under any circumstances, since he was envious and wanted her, or he would force them out. I know she loves me, and I can see she's sincere in her apologies, but I can't guarantee she won't do it again. I had her block her dad and the boy, and made it clear that if she ever contacted either of them again or sent nudes to another guy, I'd file for divorce right away. She thinks I'm giving her another opportunity. I discovered her doing similar shady like two months into our relationship before we were married. But I'm still on the fence about it all and don't know what to do. 
My primary worry here is my kid. Furthermore, we both have solid jobs, so money isn't a problem. I've done nothing except adore her, and I've been hoping for the same for a long time. So here we are at 11 a.m., practically on my birthday, and I didn't slash couldn't sleep the night before, so I'm still up and have been for almost 24 hours. I'm not exhausted either. I simply can't sleep any longer. She didn't sleep either after our conversation, and I can see it's upsetting her. Yet, it didn't stop her from going to have her hair done. I'd want to wish you a very happy birthday. Sorry for the lengthy article. There's a lot to untangle here, and there's a lot more to this, but I'm not writing a book here. Story 2 It's been four months since she cheated on me and I left two weeks ago. Fourteen years down the drain and fourteen men's. To cut a long tale short, I discovered her cheating. I thought she was remorseful, but she continued gaslighting me after I returned three times. I moved out of the home two weeks ago, filed for divorce, and worked out a visitation schedule with the kids. Because of her continuous lying and continual going out, I'm very confident she's a narcissist. I'm very confident I'm doing the correct thing for our kids because I'd rather see them happy than see the best version of myself for them. It's even gotten to the point where I can't focus at work. She still attempts to seek for my assistance or sends me letters saying how much she misses her family. I'm quite sure it's simply a hoovering technique, but I'm supposed to hold my ground, right? I never imagined I'd find myself in this circumstance. She had been married for 10 years and had let it all go but she is still trying to hold on since I was the one who brought the bread home. Is this a mistake? Update. She's been served, but she's still making small chat with me. She's telling me she's not ready for all of this. She continues to lie, claiming that the person who served her was unpleasant and tossed it in the receptionist's lap. I watched a video, and it was nothing like that. She's also checking to see whether I'm chatting to another lady. As in. Also, should I continue to pay for the utilities where she is staying? I mean, I'll continue to pay the utilities in my name, but the ones in her name, I shouldn't even touch, right? We all got together to celebrate our children's birthdays. It was probably a mistake, but I was there for our daughter. She continues to say the same things. I don't recall the night those events occurred, but everything I've been telling you is true. I'm sorry for what I've done and really regret it. She has been pleading with me for assistance ever since. Please have a look at the automobile, or is it for the sake of our children's safety? I'm attempting to include the children in this. The smear campaign has resumed, and she, of course, is telling everyone that she did nothing wrong and that what I'm doing is unfair. I'm not sorry for being closed off, and she has to keep doing things on her own and learning how to do things without asking for aid. Update on me. I purchased a couple self-care books. One of them is from The Chump Woman, and it's very intriguing because what she writes is virtually exactly what my STBXW is doing right now. As a result, I did not celebrate Thanksgiving with my family. I've been experimenting with no touch. It doesn't work for her. She arrives late to pick up the kids and shortly after, I get served with response papers from a mutual acquaintance. Ah, not so mutual. In any case, she's attempting to press my button by telling me not to be bitter. I'm not angry. I'd even thank them for the response documents. She tried to persuade me that she had a better way. It will take three months for the paralegal to complete the case, and it will be done in six months. She's essentially attempting to have my lawsuit dismissed in a separate jurisdiction. She does not desire a no-fault divorce. She's suing me for child support and alimony. To me, it seems to be one-sided. Attempting to frighten me, they like making things difficult for guys who just want to move on and be present for their children.